You never want to co-sign for someone. Ever, 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 ever. So what can you do if you're like, I know, Rondi, I know you say don't co-sign, never co-sign, you shouldn't do it, but I'm not going to listen to you. I'm going to do it my way. So if you decide to do it your way and ignore my advice on never co-signing for someone, here's what I want you to do. You're going to go open up a new bank account and you're going to have the person who you're co-signing for also be on this bank account. So now there's two people on this bank account. In order to remove money from this bank account, both people must be present and both people must sign. Yes, you can do this. Also, no checks will be issued from this bank account. No debit cards will be issued. End of story. None. You open the bank account, the money goes in. Preferably a savings account that you can't get a debit or a checking account on. And it can't be transferred from another bank account. Both people must be present. Both people must sign in order to remove money. Now, the person that is in it, the, the person that you're co-signing for that's good for it, that has the bad credit, you know, you want them to deposit at least one month's payment in that account. I, if I was going to do it and I was going to co-sign for someone, which I never would, but if I was going to do it, I'd make them deposit three months of payments in that account, three months. So if the payment's 500 bucks a month, you got to have at least $1,500 in that bank account at all times. And you need to set up an alert that if the balance drops below $1,500, you get alerted that the balance has dropped below $1,500. Therefore, you can log in and see that it's dropped and then find out from the person, why is it below $1,500? And it gives you three months to get that worked out. Most likely, you're going to be the one that has to put the money in. But at least you got three months notice to figure out how you're going to get the money in there so they're not reported late. That's why you need three months notice or three months of payments in there. So you have three months to figure it out. I would never co-sign because it's a pain in the ass to do it the right way. But if you really want to co-sign for someone, that's how you do it.